All right. Uh, good morning. Welcome to a brand new video of the Target the Video Program. The Target the Video Experience. So, last night, didn't go home, went back to get my cane. My daughter was up watching her tablet, so I decided to stay. And uh, within 10 minutes, she was asleep, okay? Because I put, her, put them to bed at nine, nine o'clock. So when I came back, like I said, she was on her tablet. I was like, oh, because I'm staying. And she went right to sleep. Now this morning, and of course, you know, I was up late, because Pam was up late. She's going on a trip to Boston for a job. And, uh, you know, so we woke up this morning. I woke the kids up this morning, made them breakfast, got them dressed. I woke her up at 6.30. And she laid in bed until 7 o'clock, right? Then had to go take a shower. And, you know, it is, I just came, I left the house around 7.45. She was still there, still getting dressed. She had to take Ethan to school. Now, Ethan has to be to school for 8 o'clock. So I said to her, I said, hey, you know, it is 7.45. And she's like, and? Uh, uh, uh. I said, well, you got, I said, Ethan got to be to school for 8 o'clock. So, and I'm just like, wow. You know, last night we had this discussion. And I'm telling her, I said, everything about you that you do is, is for you. You talk about, you know, the kids, but really, it's all about you, all about you. I said, when the kid, when I'm not here, the kids make a mess. You don't even tell them to clean up. And she's like, yes, yes, I do. When you're coming over, I'm like, Alyssa, your daddy's coming over. You need to clean up. Don't wait until I'm coming over to tell them to clean up. You know what I'm saying? I said, I don't understand how you don't get that. Right? I don't understand how you don't get that. And I said, you know, you, what they're gonna, you're gonna have adults that are going to be highly dysfunctional, highly messy, and don't want to clean up and pick up after themselves. You know, she's like, well, you know, when they get older, then we'll, we'll, I'll get them therapy. And I'm like, really? <laughs> you know, I said that, I'm like, really? So you're not going to try to correct th that behavior from now? And she can't because she's worse than them. You know, like I said, my daughter said to me last week, she was like, daddy, you know, mommy always talking about us making a mess. She's like, have you seen her room? Have you seen she throw her stuff all over the place? I said, yes. And then my daughter feel like she shouldn't say anything. This is an eight-year-old talking. Right? And yet, Pam was like, oh, well, she, you know, she got a point. And I'm like, she got a point. I'm like, you know, you, 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 <laughs> I swear. You know, women, a lot of women, they, they want to talk about, they want to lead by example. And as a man, you should, you should lead. But a lot of them don't want to don't want to be led. You know, particularly if you're a Christian, right? So I think a lot of Christians have to reevaluate their belief system, particularly women. Because if they say that they believe in the Bible and the Bible is the word of God, then you know, and I don't believe that. And I say, you know, whoever is the best leader, whether you're a man or woman, they should be leading. Okay, because in this society, men and women are highly dysfunctional and they have been conditioned that way. You know, so the fact that she doesn't see it as a big deal and I'm like, okay, I got the kids ready, the kids are dressed. You know, you think I gotta be in school for eight o'clock and that's not an important thing on her radar. Okay, only when it suits her, only when, you know, she wants to brag to her friends about you know kids doing well in school again and, and that's through my hard work with them but when it's her and the, the kids are not doing well you know it's like come on you can't you can't do that you know i do these videos because i know that some of her friends or even family members look at my videos they look at it and and part of the reason why I do these things that's that's part of it right to have to have let them know what's going on and so they can try and, and talk to her about it you know and it's not and also you know my experience as a ti dealing with 
you know, her dealing with my situation, dealing with these idiots out here. It's highly, yeah, take your mask off, son. These highly indoctrinated slaves, these highly indoctrinated sheep. Yeah, fuck you too, buddy. <laughs> I got them, I said, fuck you too, buddy, all in their face. So, you know, just to let people know what's going on. And you see, they know that they're being exposed. This is why they're on that tip now where they start looking at my phone, you know, they start pressing their thumb against their clothes. Bus 32151. Number 32. There you go. HSK 1432. Another vehicle with the number 32 right behind each other. Okay? So, yeah. Remember, I talk about dark NLP. An anchors and triggers. So, yeah. You know, to see to let people experience what i'm experiencing so they can see that this is what's happening and this this has been happening so this is nothing new you know i just studied this program well enough to understand you know a good amount of what's being done and what it is that they're doing and how i've been brainwashed how the use of dark nlp plays out in my targeting because of the brainwashing that was done to me and you see they know what they've done is illegal that's why you know when they start trying to come at me hard I start going at them harder I you know I record even more and when they expose to the point where they know they've been exposed then they try to make it seem like oh if I continue uh, recording <laughs> that I'll be arrested I'll be killed or what have you or uh, they'll send some, you know they'll they'll send some guys white men black men whoever you know to uh talk to Pam like I said I don't care you know but I do care about my kids and I do care about her getting uh messed up because of what it is they're doing and because of her malignant narcissist mindset and her ability not to see you know that the people that they're putting in her life at this point is because they're trying to get back at me for whatever for actually for exposing what it is that they're doing right and she's not you know intelligent enough to see that and understand it and she thinks because of like she's trying to hurt me for what? For telling the truth? You know, I had that same discussion with her last night. Telling her the truth. I had to tell her, I told her straight up. I said, y'all have a delusional mindset. You know, that's being created within your within your mind. And I said, you know, y'all have a, a serious disconnect from the reality. Right? You're living in the real world, but your views are screwed. And this and, and and is delusional because this is how they condition us and it's not just women it's men too so I you know but as a man I got to give my point of view as a man but I, and I keep telling I say listen I don't it's not it's not your fault it's not our fault not a hundred percent the majority of, of the fault blame, I blame it on the government on those within the government agencies that are evil and wicked and are doing this because of what because of control control they want to control society control people in society and they've created technologies in which they can they can absolutely do that and though people may not want to believe us as ti's because they think it's uh impossible but i assure you it is not they've been able to do this from since the 1960s the documentation shows it okay the experimentation that they've done shows it all right so you know that's what I want to say. I'm trying to get through to her to make her understand and realize what is being done. is uh, It's a difficult task. People who have malignant personality disorder, you know, it's very difficult to get through to them. And this is how these the these individuals can lure them in using psychological conditioning to make them believe certain things, right? Because in this society, we are all... <laughs> Uh, in this society, we are all conditioned. We all have 
have been conditioned with narcissistic personality some of us more so than others right so we talk about the personality traits from a number of one to one to seven i believe right uh, not say I, I believe but i think uh from what i can't remember right so if you're on a scale of one to two that's that's kind of I would say for one to three, that's kind of normal average in society. If you're four and five, then you, you know you can change your mindset with therapy. But when you're the the last two, the six and seven, you know there's there's there you you there's you, you not to say it's impossible to change, but it's highly unlikely, even with therapy. Okay, you know, but trying to get people like that to understand what's going on it's a difficult thing particularly when they send them uh when they're using uh covert psychological messages to make them believe certain things right you know like i was talking to her last night she was talking about her trajectory and you know i guess with her job and stuff like that i said yeah you know but then what happens because you, you you're elevated in, in in your job or in society you become more narcissistic you start to look down on people you know, you start to talk about, you know, it's like uh, if a person give you a gift and it may not be high end, you feel disappointed and sad. You know, instead of feeling appreciated, no matter what the amount spent on a gift, it's still a gift from somebody that cares. They may not be able to afford luxury that you, that you like, but they, they care about you enough to think about you to buy you a gift. So instead of being across the street, right? She look at her shoes. <laughs> Being appreciative and thankful, what do they do? You know, they 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 be they feel disgusted, dis disappointed because you know the person is not giving them something that they would appreciate, right? So yeah. All right. Well, that's it. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.